Hello friends, I am in my car. We are off to find a dog. Um, what a great way to start the vlog. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Kim. I have four dogs. Um, my husband and I love helping dogs on the street. We find a lot of strays in our new area and we have reunited so many of them with their owners um, or have found them new homes. So today we are starting the vlog off on a very different note. I am putting a lip product on. I'm so sorry that I look like this today and you have to look at my crusty ass but we're friends right 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 <laughs> but I'm putting on this lip product it's from CeraVe um, and I actually have the huge container of it at home but my sister-in-law Carlos's little sister Kim she happens to be named Kim as well Kim actually had many little containers of it at her doctor's office um, where she works and she literally got me like a whole entire literally pack of these little ones from the doctor's office and I literally almost cried the fact that it's like the little things I'm such like um I don't know like it's the little things the fact that somebody like remembers little things about you is just like the most meaningful and kindest way of showing people that you care sorry I'm just like going off right now but I love these CeraVe products this one um, they sell it in like a huge container that I have at home if you are a dry person like me you have dry skin you have flakiness you have patches on your face you have dry lips Put this on before you go to bed. Put like a thin layer with moisturizer and whatever else you use on the daily. You will wake up the next morning after washing your face with the most beautiful buttery skin in the world. If you have dry knees, dry elbows, dry calluses on your feet, dry cuticles, a dry personality, this CeraVe product is so good. A subscriber recommended this to me last year and they literally changed my whole entire life. I will literally cover my whole entire body in this. This is amazing. But yeah, I was on, um, let's actually get going. I was on my Facebook account and I'm a part of like all of the groups in our neighborhood and somebody posted a dog on the side of the road 27 minutes away. It's gonna take me about 27 to 30 minutes to get to the intersection streets that they were showing. So I'm gonna drive there. Hopefully the dog is still there and we'll just go from there, you know? But I would not be able to sleep tonight if I did not try to help this dog. Hopefully he or she is still lingering around there because it is hot outside. Um, I brought some water and treats and then I also have a leash because the majority of the dogs you find in the tree on the street don't really have collars. It says we are three minutes away from the streets that um, the person who posted posted like their map. So I literally just took a wild guess and I try to connect all the dots. I'm 95% sure I'm in the right area. Um, I just don't know if the dog is still there. I just wanna make sure that we like get the dog um, to a safe area with water and food um, and hopefully reach out to the owners. If there is an owner, there were so many dogs that literally um, ran away because of the 4th of July fireworks, you guys. So, I think one of the shelters by our home took in like 92 dogs after the 4th of July because everybody, oh, we're on the street. This is it. Okay, we're on the street. So all I can do now is just keep my eyes open and hopefully look and hopefully we can find the dog. I am far, far away from home. <laughs> There's a lot of land out here. Sometimes, um, you know, with these, uh, all of the land and then the, how the gates are like designed, sometimes the dog might have just like slipped out. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna drive down this street a few times and see what, what happens. I think I found the exact spot the dog was at. There was, there's a neon sign and a, and a pole. So I'm, I'm just gonna turn in here. That's That seems like the picture. The dog, oh, the dog was sitting right there, you guys. If you look at the picture, it makes sense. There's a neon, there's a neon sign and a yellow pole. I just went to the corner. I parked my car here on the side. I went to the corner 
and um, it's I'm that's a hundred percent where the dog was taken um, the picture that was taken was in that corner and I match up the yellow sign and part of the yellow sign says Avenue and this sign says Avenue and um, there's actually a little blue water bowl I took a picture to make sure yeah I you guys were definitely in the right spot but when the t picture of the dog was taken there was not a blue little water bowl so maybe somebody got to the dog before we did but that's a good thing that's a good thing there's a there yeah see in the picture that was posted on Facebook there was no blue water bowl but now there is so I'm wondering if someone just you know stopped by and gave the dog water and took the dog to a shelter or somewhere nearby but I just want to make sure that's the case and they didn't just put a water bowl there and left and the dog's still like walking around the street I cannot believe I cannot believe that I found the street literally um, I'm just gonna drive I, I highly doubt the, the dog would cross the street because it's there's oncoming traffic both ways so if anything the dog would walk this way I just want to make sure so I think I'm just gonna do a quick drive back and forth a few times until my heart says that it's okay to to go Regardless, the dog is out of the heat. That's all that matters. I hope. Ah, uh, my brain is doing that thing where it's like, what if the dog's not out of the heat and he's like, he or she's like walking somewhere. Hello friends, it's been a few hours later. Um, I'm so sorry that you guys are hanging out with me on such a boring day. We just have so much going on today um, off camera and it's really hard when I'm trying to like do things and try to get footage at the same time. We are heading up to LA tomorrow and we won't be home for a few days. So tonight I have to pack everything. I wanna have everything prepped and ready to go. So the next vlog that we get to hang out together in Carlos and I will be in LA and then the vlog after that will still be somewhere not at home. So the next two vlogs will be very, very eventful. I'm about to get into the in and out line. Uh, Carlos wanted in and out for dinner because he is going to be on a soft food diet. And if you guys watch the next vlog, you'll know exactly why we're going to LA. We haven't said anything on social media. We haven't told any of our friends and family. So I'm really excited to share that video with you and share the journey and experience some of you guessed it in the last video so leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have an idea of what you think Carlos and I are doing in LA but anywho we took the boys to the vet today Cooper and Rocky went today Riley and Casper went about two and a half weeks ago we have to split them up because it's just like so chaotic it's it's very difficult sometimes emotionally having a pet whether it's a dog a cat a bunny a parrot a fish um, they become family you know and with our four dogs, we call them our four boys because they're literally, we treat them as if they're our children. We love them so much. They're, every decision that we make in our lives, the boys come first before we make any of the decisions. Um, they are incorporated in everything that we do. Obviously, you guys can tell we're really big dog people. Um, but it, you know, when we, rescued Rocky from the OC animal shelter back in 2019 we knew what we were walking into we knew what we were about to accept um, and I remember just like seeing him at the shelter we always go to the shelter anyways to donate materials um, and basically bring awareness to shelters because not a lot of people know or are aware of how important it is to rescue and we knew that he was a senior um, he was microchipped but the owner never came forward I think they waited 10 or 12 days there's like a legal time span that they have to wait for the owner before you can legally um, adopt them so we knew at the time I think he was yeah he was like nine years old and we remember that when we filled out the adoption form we went into the vet's office and at the shelter and she was like hey 
these are all of Rocky's problems. You can back out if you want. And Carlos and I were like, nope, we're not backing out. We want him. Um, so we brought him home. We knew he was going to be a senior dog. The vet at the shelter in 2019 said he has five to seven years left. And, you know, we, we, we put it in the back of our head. Um, but... You know, life happens and you just never want to focus on that, right? You want to enjoy your time with your pets and um, just hope that you give them the best life and hope that they can live for as long as they are comfortable on this world, um, in this world. I, I, I don't want Rocky to ever feel any type of pain um, if he reaches a time or an age where, like, sorry, um, you know, I, I never want to be a selfish owner where I want him to stay because it benefits me or I'll be sad. It, it's more about what's good for him and what he feels comfortable with. He's turning 12 um, in two weeks. And so every single year around July, we get an annual checkup because he did, when we rescued him, he did have a heart murmur. And his heart murmur was a stage two. And they were like, you know what? It's just a stage two. It's not bad. There's really nothing to worry about. Um, and every single year, every single year since 2019, um, it's been great, you know? It's been like, you you guys obviously have seen Rocky. He's so energetic and um, and just like has so much energy and he's able to, he's still playing and he's still eating and he's so happy and um, we just, our vet just told us today that his heart murmur has gotten worse and he's at a stage four. Um... Oh, I should probably lock my doors. But his heart murmur has gotten worse. He's at age. He's at a stage four heart murmur. And if you guys have pets and you know anything about heart murmurs, they just get worse and worse as they age. Um, and um, also his uh, when we got him, his eyesight was perfectly fine. But his right eye, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed in the vlogs, his right eye. He is a they confirmed that he's basically officially almost blind in the right eye he doesn't react to anything with that eye and the vet said that we can get a surgery to basically reverse that but the surgery costs like three to five thousand dollars and money is you know when it comes to the dogs we will work our best we will work our hardest and literally pull shit out of our savings for our dogs and i want to do it for rocky but also like my mindset is like if it's gonna be painful for him, you know, like I don't want to put him through that pain just because like I'm like, oh, like I want you to see like he's so happy with life and it, it the 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 one eye that is working perfectly fine right now hasn't caused him any problems. He's not running into things, he's he's still running and having fun and, and enjoying life. And I didn't even know um you know, I didn't realize that I didn't realize how hard it was to hear that his one eye was almost gone until today when we were talking to the vet. So part of me is like, do we do the surgery so he can see fully in both eyes? Or do we kind of just let it be because he's so happy? Like, I don't want to put Rocky through, like, you know, pain of recovery and, and all of that. Just, I don't know. I, I'm so, hopefully that makes sense. I'm so back and forth with this. So with the heart murmur, they said that now he needs to get an x-ray to see how his heart is, to see if um, it's gotten, if it's, it, she said enlarged. Um, and if it is, he's gonna be put on um, heart murmur medication basically for the rest of his life. It's kind of like, you know, seeing your parents age. Like, you know how we're aware that our parents are getting older and we are aware that time doesn't stop for anybody and time is flying by. Like, you know, as we get older, our parents are getting older. Like, I see my mom and I'm just like, this is the year that I see that she is actually aging and even though you are aware of it like you know your parents are getting older it, it hits different when certain milestones bring up like make you more aware of the situation with Rocky it's just like you know every year we're like another year and he's great and he has so much energy and then the vet visit is great every July and then this July it just happens that this is the first year that we've noticed that's 
he he's getting older and it just sucks it it honestly sucks and I think all that all that Carlos and I can do is be the best dog parents to him and be the best and most responsible dog owners and do everything that we think is best for his uh, you know his life and we have his best interests at heart but it just sucks you know seeing your dog just like get older and older um but yeah <sighs> uh, this sucks yeah this is horrible but I'm gonna stay positive he's still here he's still healthy he's still running with his squirrels I'm so sorry this was so long but you guys are like friends to me and I hope that if you're pet owners um, you have some words of like encouragement or or maybe you have a pet that has a heart murmur or any advice because I would really appreciate it um, you know Carlos and I know so much about dogs but we can only know so much and it's great hearing from other dog owners because there is some stuff that maybe we can try that maybe our vet doesn't know and you guys can help us out with like information or advice um, and let us know if like something has worked for you or your experience or maybe things that we need to look out for I know our vet said like we have to watch out for Rocky's breathing and if there's any coughing. And as you guys know, um, in 2020, Rocky had a seizure and it was the scariest thing of my life. Um, I've never experienced a dog having a seizure before and thank God he's never had one since. But, oh, oh my gosh, you guys, we literally signed ourselves up for four heartbreaks. I stopped by Target um, to get this Remington Hot Rollers. It's been years since I used that, but I think they're coming back in and I really wanna try this one because um, sometimes I don't wanna wrap it around my Dyson. So I'm gonna get that. I thought these were so pretty. I wanted to share it with you guys. Look how beautiful these are. They're so cute. I love like hair clips and hair pins. This hair tie by Kristen S is really good. Cooper also loves it. He literally rips every single one up. <laughs> oh, I also need a new hairbrush because my other one, um, the little balls here, they, they came off for some reason and now it hurts whenever I brush my hair. I am going to bleed probably tomorrow and I won't be home so I need to buy some pads. I'm a day late on my period which is really weird because um, I'm always on time so I'm just going to get a pa pads real quick. I used to do tampons you guys but I'm not going to lie. I don't really touch tampons anymore unless I really have to. I'm more of a pad girl. I kind of like that I can breathe down there and it airs everything out, you know? This is also what I use down there whenever I shower. Been using this since like high school. So, I don't know, rose or, I forgot which, okay, we'll do this one. This one is a good option. They even have sprays where you can just like spray down there real quick. See what else they have. If I need anything else. Oh my god, it's Lo. She owns this company, Love Wellness. If you guys watch The Hills and Laguna Beach, you guys know I'm a huge fan. That is so cool. Wow, I'm so proud of her. Somehow I always end up in the dog toy section. How cute are these little shoes? If they squeak. Oh my goodness. I love the brand Bark. They have really cute dog toys. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. This is Old Man's favorite toy, the squirrels. He loves all of the squirrels. Casper loves all of the all of the balls that squeak. Like if you guys know of any balls that constantly squeak, um, Cooper likes really um, like big fruity toys that look like fruits. And then Riley, oh, and then Cooper likes to tug and Riley likes to tug as well. I think for dinner, I'm gonna try this Benihana. Did you guys know Benihana has frozen um, meals? Look. What? I 
had no idea. Rocky's choice. That's so cute. Ooh, okay. I like steak and chicken. Did you guys know that all the back to school stuff is out at Target? Um, I graduated college back in like 2018 and I haven't done anything school related since so I completely forgot that school is back in session. But I think I'm going to do a giveaway um, where Carlos and I will take care of a whole entire inventory list for a teacher for back to school. So um, yeah. I still have to figure that out because I want to make sure that we do a giveaway on Instagram and on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. I love teachers. Oh, I can go on and on about my favorite teachers. Teachers truly build the strongest foundations for kids and they don't get enough credit. They do not get enough credit. I didn't know that they sell Bondi sands at Target. I always see people use this to t like tan, like self tan. Look. Oh, it comes in a, oh, wow, that's so sad looking because <laughs> it's all frozen. It better come out looking like the picture. It never does, man. I know. Okay, remove tray from outer carton, pull back corner of film to vent, cook on high for two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. Do you want to bite? I don't need to like add water or anything. Oh, no, thank you, baby. I have food. Obviously, I wasn't expecting it to look identical to Benihana, but why does this look like soup? Oh my gosh, it's so foggy, you guys can't see. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, look. That doesn't look anything close to Benihana. Oh well, I'm hungry. Babe, have you seen it? No. You wanna see it? I show you. Where are you? Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see how let's see how it tastes. <laughs> Wait. They played me. Sometimes when you get fried rice, like the Costco fried rice, it still looks bomb. No, but that one tastes good too. Yeah, why does this look so bad? I mean if it tastes good then I guess it doesn't really matter. It smells good. No. I want my money back. Oh no. <laughs> okay, obviously I'm grateful for the food, so we're gonna eat it and we're gonna re-season it, but it literally feels like I'm eating soup. Like you know when you take soup and you pour it over rice, baby? Yes. Yeah, that's what I feel like I'm t I'm eating rice soup. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh my gosh. Okay, I understand it was frozen, but sometimes frozen it's, food is bomb. Yeah, frozen food is bomb, and it looks like at least a little bit close to the original. But this is so far off. Do you, you guys remember? look. <laughs> Do you remember that frozen food I had? <clears throat> oh, there were two. The Mexican one. Mm-hmm. That I told you was actually pretty good. Like it, and, it was like the enchilada. Yeah, chicken. and then the mashed, the, the hamburger, the hungry man. The chicken. Yeah. That one was bomb. But Costco has like fried rice and it looks so good once it's done um, in the microwave. And it tastes really good too. This is not it, man. Just in case you guys forgot what the packaging looks like, this is what they used to advertise, okay? I just wanted to let you know that this is this is what I was not fully expecting, but maybe a little bit, and this is what I got. But we're still grateful for it. We're still gonna eat it. You take the aroma of sizzling meat. <laughs> My meat is not sizzling. I am packed, you guys. I always pack the night before trips because I don't want to wake up the next morning super rush. I'm already like very anxious because I'm just an anxious car rider so I don't want to forget anything but I have all of my sleepover stuff in this Trader Joe's bag if you guys do not have one I highly recommend if you guys see them at Trader Joe's to grab one I literally got everybody one my um, I got Michelle one I got Veronica one I got myself one we literally are so obsessed with Trader Joe's and we all match and literally this bag is so so big I cannot express to you 
how convenient it is to have this um, around the house. But inside, I just have an extra outfit for the next day. I'll have the outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow to LA, but I'm just gonna switch out the top. That's usually how I like it. I'll keep the bottoms, but switch out the top so it looks like a new outfit. My skincare stuff, and then I have pajamas. We're only sleeping over two nights, so um, it shouldn't be that bad. I just, I like to, I used to be the, I used to be the person that would like literally pack every single thing. Um, but lately as I got older, I just, I pack very minimally. So this is also the bag that I am carrying minimally. Yeah, that sounds right. This is the bag that I'm carrying. Oh, it's quite heavy. I think I should empty that out. This is from my favorite brand. Um, one of my favorite brands. The name is Polen. I shared this, uh, bag company with you guys in my previous vlog. But this is the brand right here, Polen. They are designed in Paris, made in Spain, super fast shipping. The price point, I would say, is affordable, quote, quote, for designer. Um, it's in the same price range as Marc Jacobs, Kate, uh, Kate Spade, Tori Burch, and Coach and Michael Kors. So that gives you an idea of why, where the price range is. I will say I've owned all of those brands and I will say Polen is the most high quality one out of all of them. I highly invest, I highly suggest investing in one if you are looking for a very good bag that's gonna last you a very long time and is really sturdy. They just came out with this new one and it's like this tote, I love this color. They have it in a beige and a black but I think this color is the best and you can make the sides bigger too, kind of like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. If you guys are a bag junkie like me, I'm obsessed with bags. Um, I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, I love, love bags. Um, and the wonderful thing is Polen offers a firm. So I think it's a firm or a Klarna. So you can do, I think like every two weeks, um, maybe like four payments without interest. Um, if you want to like separate up your payments, but I just wanted to share that with you guys in here I just have all of my technology my wallet and like Advil migraine hair ties Things like that my tripod boring stuff. Hello. I'm in my PJs, but I wanted to share This with you because this is one of the reasons why sorry if like my titties are out I'm about to go head to bed actually I want to pack my makeup with you guys and then head to bed, but um, one of the reasons why I love this bag as well, like I'm such a huge fan of this and if you're looking for a tote for work or school, I highly suggest this one. But the handles, the straps, they're so comfortable. They're nice and long, but they're not too long. I'm somebody who's short. I'm like five feet. So when it comes to bags, I like bags to land on me perfectly. And this strap is so perfect for the shoulder. I don't own any totes, any tote design bags that are like this comfortable. This is more comfortable than my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I absolutely hate the straps on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It is so hard, not comfortable on your shoulder, and it's very stiff. This one is very nice fabric, and the fabric is very, um, not stretchy, but flexible. It moves with you, and it sits on your shoulders so nicely. It doesn't fall off, and I literally feel nothing at all. If you wanted to put it over your shoulders, it comes with a shorter strap, which I love, and sometimes I'll just do this. Like, how cute is that? It's a, it's absolutely adorable, and I also just love the colors. The colors can really go with any season, which is nice. I'm in my studio. I am going to pack the bare minimum for my makeup. So I don't remember where I got this makeup container. It's, it was either in a PR package or maybe I custom made it. I, I don't know. I don't remember. It's been quite a while. Let me empty all of this out. Oh, this foundation is so good. I recently just started using this one. It's the Dior Backstage. Wow. This is so good. It's very lightweight, but has really good buildable coverage. You feel nothing, absolutely nothing on your face, which I love. Okay, I'm gonna empty all this out. I'm just gonna do my OG favorites. I'm not gonna try anything new. This is not the time for me to be trying anything new, but I wanted to show you my container. It says P and S over here, so I don't know, but it's really cute. I used I used to pack a lot of makeup because I used to do like makeup tutorials, and I was like, 
doing all that like beauty stuff but then as I kind of started traveling a little less and wearing way less makeup um, I'm more of like a natural kind of like dewy glowy look kind of girl now I definitely wore way more makeup back then um, I like both sometimes I like heavy makeup sometimes I like light makeup I think both is absolutely beautiful but when I am like sleeping over somewhere or just I know I'm gonna be walking around I just like to pack the bare minimum I don't want to bring too much so whenever I'm packing my makeup oh and it says Kim on the front isn't that cute <laughs> so I'm going to start the way I pack is I go through the routine in my head as if I was doing my makeup right now so the first thing I would do is obviously moisturize um, so I want to like grab my favorite moisturizer somewhere. Let me see. I've been using, you know what? I used this with the pink one the other day and it was so good. But this is the Glow Recipe, ugh, I can't speak. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado uh, Recovery Serum. This is so good, you guys. I have like pigmentation and sometimes my skin can be very sensitive. So I love this. It does really cool your skin down for makeup. So I'm going to bring that, but I'm also gonna mix it with one of my other favorites by Glow Recipe. This is their Watermelon Glow. These two really do make my face feel really nice and cool. And then I'm gonna go in with my Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. The, the hype about this primer is real. I absolutely love it. And, hmm, okay, foundation-wise, I know this is really expensive, but it's so good and a little bit goes a really long way. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. It's really good. If I had to choose one foundation to wear for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Um, I love it. The price is not my favorite, but it is so beautiful on. It It looks like you're walking around with a filter. So I'm going to do that, even though I do really like this Dior one as well. Um, and then I'm just going to do powder. For powder, I think I'm going to go in with my one size. Let's do one size by Patrick Star. Let's do one size, really good powder here. So we'll do that. And then for bronzing, I don't really bronze too much. Oh, if you guys are wondering, I have, well, my dogs are in here going crazy. But if you guys are wondering, I have drawers and drawers of makeup down here. That's what I'm going through. So I'll show you guys a little bit of my makeup drawer when I'm done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bronze, I usually don't. Um, I'm gonna do my favorite blush, which is Milani Cosmetics Luminoso. It, to me, is the most beautiful blush ever. It's affordable, I have backups of it, I've been using it for years. What I like is that it has great color payoff, but it also has this really nice satin glowy finish. And when you wear this, I do go overboard. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's a lot of blush. But I love, love blush. And I don't do bronzer. And I feel like blush makes me look younger and more fresh. But when you let this blush sink into your skin throughout the day, um, it is so, so glowy and beautiful. I, when I die, I want you guys to put this on my face. <laughs> so that is the blush that I'm doing. I don't do highlight because that already makes me really glowy. I only use two brushes. This is the Morphe um, Ariel, um, Ariel Kylie Jenner's makeup artist had a collection with Morphe and I bought the whole collection and let me tell you the hype is real. I love, love his brush collaboration with Morphe. And then for my Milani I use the dose of colors and for my foundation I have been using a beauty blender lately but I also really like this one blush or this one brush but I can't find it but I think this this will do I'll do this yeah, I'll do this because I've been feeling kind of dry late, lately. If I'm feeling dry, I'll use like a beauty blender. But if my skin is on point, I'll use a brush. So we have that. And then for eyebrows, I use uh, Benefit Cosmetics uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is like one of the best brow pencils ever. And then I set it with a 24-hour brow setter. This is my holy grail. I don't know which one is new and which one's old. That's not good. 
I think this one's new because it seems like it has a lot of product. Oh, well, I'll just keep using them. This is my favorite. It makes my fine eyebrow hair stick up and it's giving me that look that I like. I also really like packing now because in the morning I use the same product so I don't have to think about any of the products. I can just like go through it real quick. Um, okay, so brows are done. After brows, oh, this is my favorite foundation brush. This is the Sephora Pro Foundation Brush in number 56. I'm gonna bring it anyways, because this is, it blends liquid products out like crazy. It's so good, I love it. Um, for lips, I don't know what to do for my lips. I'm like, because we're gonna be walking around, like what if it's windy, I don't want lip gloss on. But my favorite lip liner that never does me wrong is Soar by MAC. I feel the prettiest with this lip liner. And I actually wanna sharpen it because I don't wanna worry about sharpening my lip liner. I swear I have a lip liner sharpener. If I don't, that will be very sad. I do have one. Yes, I have an e.l.f. Cosmetics one right here. Let's see. Okay, I'll sharpen this later, but uh, MAC Cosmetics Soar is my favorite. And um, I don't think I'm going to do a gloss, but if I do want to bring a gloss, I'll just bring... Oh my gosh. Lip, lips are really like important to me, and I can never choose. And tomorrow, I'm like, do I wear lashes tomorrow? Usually, I don't really wear lashes. I just keep my face pretty natural. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out. Okay, friends. I think for lips, I'm bringing MAC Sore. Oh, my gosh. I'm being such a girl right now. I can't choose. And these two are very similar. One's more brown and one is more. You can't see. Can you? Can you guys see? One's more brown. This one's a little bit more brown. More brown neutral. This one's a little bit more pink. Primrose. Oof. You know what? I'm going to do mixed berries. Mixed berries is pretty. These are um, the Tarte Cosmetics. Um, I never know how to pronounce that. Uh, juicy Lip Plumps. They're really good. I did like a... Um, oh, they smell amazing. I did like a whole review on them a few vlogs back. I'm I'm gonna do mixed berries. It's a little bit darker. I think that'll be really pretty with my outfits. I'm wearing like a pink blazer on Thursday. Yeah, I think this was too light. Okay, so we'll do that. But I also want to bring like a lipstick. Um, in case I don't want to go glossy or shiny, I'll do a lipstick. So, and I'm not gonna go crazy glossy. Like I'm not gonna do like glossier. Glossy, because that's a little bit too much for me. I have some lip products right here. This is um, a nail acrylic holder to organize nail polishes, but I just had Carlos nail it to the wall, and I put my lipsticks on here. I think I'm going to do like a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I think that'd be really pretty as like a lipstick. Most likely will not even touch it. This is pillow talk medium. I think this is a little bit darker. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this is Pillow Talk 2 Medium. If you do Pillow Talk, it's a little bit more pink, and if you do Pillow Talk Medium, it's a little darker, as you can tell. Um, so are the liners. And then this one's a little bit, ooh, that's really pretty. Do you guys see? Focus. Yeah, Pillow Talk Medium is definitely a little bit darker. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring Pillow Talk with me. Just in case, I might I might bring the travel size. Have you guys seen the travel size? It's so cute. Let me show you the travel size pillow talk. This is the travel size pillow talk. I think I might bring it. This is the full size. Look how cute these two are. Because I know I might not use it, so I might just bring the travel size and just... I don't know why I have so many pillow talk lipsticks. It does not make sense to me. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. And, and we're done. Voila. I don't really spray my face because it is summertime. I'll just walk out, walk to the car, and I'm already like sweating. And there we go. Everything is perfect um, and fits perfectly inside this little con uh, little pouch. And then I just zipper it all up. And what's cool is tomorrow I just have this sitting here and I'll just go through these products to do my face. I don't have to like think about anything. I'm going to pack food for the boys. Um, so they have food the next few days. 
Um, so what I like to do is we do breakfast, dinner, breakfast, dinner. So what I like is I have these labeling stickers that I just get a whole pack of them at the Dollar Tree. They're so inexpensive, you guys. Go to the Dollar Tree for all of your like little stationary knickknacks. Like I honestly would go to the Dollar Tree for back to school stuff. They have really good products there. Some of my favorite pens are at the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it there. But they have these labels that you can use to like label anything. So we always pack food for the dogs just so when they're away from home, they still have the same diet and um, they're, you know, they're, they're used to it. So I don't wanna like mess that up in any way. So I just get the label and I label it here on the bag. So whoever's feeding them, it's easy peasy. So the big bags are obviously for Riley cause he's like 96 pounds. And then the littles, I do like these little Ziploc bags. You can get these at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, you yeah, have the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store has the best. Okay, so tomorrow is Wednesday. So what I do is I just write um, Riley and then I'll do dinner and then I'll do Wednesday and the date. So then they know that, okay, this bag is going to be for Riley and when to feed him. So let's see, I'll write Riley. And you can also take Sharpie and write directly on the bag as well. Um, most of the times they don't return the bags to us, but when they do, I just take acetone and I erase what I wrote in Sharpie and that way you can reuse the bags if you would like. So this is dinner. So it looks like this, nice and labeled. And then I'll just portion out his food. And I'll put it in here. That way they know, okay, this is for dinner. It's easy for them. They just open up the bag, they put it in his bowl and they serve it to him. They don't have to, you know, a lot of the times people will like give instructions and I'm just like, uh, I don't want, I, I want to save them time, you know? So that is what we're going to do. I'm also going to write refrigerated. So if your food is refrigerated, I'll write refrigerated. All the bags are labeled and ready to go. We have them categorized from um, the first night to the last day, or the first meal to the last meal. So we have Riley, Casper, Cooper, and Rocky. We're picking up Rocky and Cooper first, so they don't need to be fed breakfast for Friday because we're getting them Friday morning. But Casper and Riley we're getting later on around like noon, afternoon, so I want to make sure that they're fed. Um, and then I also got these cute little Ikea totes. Um, how cute is this? It's a little tote from Ikea. And I'm just gonna put the boys' uh, food in here and then Riley and Casper's food can go together in this tote that Rose gave us. How cute is this, you guys? All of the food is in here. You just wanna make sure that you tell whoever's taking care of your dog to refrigerate the food. Looks like uh, Riley and Casper's go in here as well. But these totes are so cute. They're from Ikea, it's the Ikea brand. I don't know why, I went to Ikea one time, I think like a few months ago, and they were selling like cute little tote bags. Um, but yeah, also the boys are getting groomed, all getting groomed at different times on Friday as well. That's why the pickup is kind of weird. But yeah, we didn't want them smelling crazy when they came home. Yay, okay, so then we'll put this in the fridge overnight and grab it in the morning. You crazy, crazy.